Hey everyone, Nick here. Hope you guys are doing well. And it's clear by now that our culture places an extreme value on external accomplishments, appearances, and the general idea of having to be better than the person sitting next to you. What's odd to me, however, is that I think deep down we all know these qualities are relatively meaningless, and yet it's still so difficult for us to treat each other with humility and respect. Personally, I think it's because we've come to misinterpret these qualities as a sign of innocence or weakness, when in reality they are an indication of tremendous inner strength. So today's video is all about the importance of treating one another with humility and respect, because it builds character, compassion, and in the process you better the life of everyone else around you. Humility is not about being meek or short selling yourself or lacking confidence. Instead, it's about understanding your place and your role, even if it's at the very, very top. Truly humble people are able to accept their strengths and their limitations without defensiveness or judgment. And that's what makes them so inspiring to the rest of us. Through their help, honesty, and quiet recognition of their own inadequacies, they silently make us better. Greatness, he wrote lies not in being strong, but in the right using of strength. He or she is the greatest whose strength carries up the most hearts by the attraction of his own. This ability alone cultivates a tremendous inner strength, and I point to one of my personal heroes as an example, Mahatma Gandhi. Albert Einstein had once famously said this of Gandhi, a leader of his people, unsupported by any outward authority, a politician whose success rested not upon craft nor the mastery of technical devices, but simply on the convincing power of his personality, a man of wisdom and humility, who devoted all his strength to the uplifting of his people and the betterment of their lives, a man who confronted the brutality of others with the dignity of a simple human being and then at all times risen superior. If Gandhi is an example of what a humble leader can accomplish, then society serves to benefit from this kind of change. Consider what would happen if we all gain control of our egos. We become less likely to act aggressively, manipulate others, express dishonesty, and destroy resources. Instead, we take responsibility for and correct our mistakes, listen to others' ideas, and keep our abilities in humble perspective. When you meet someone for the first time, you may be drawn in by their riches or appearance or some superficial aspect about them, but you stay friends with them and you continue your relationship because they are kind or humorous or intelligent. If you are humble, if you make people realize that uh, you are no threat to them, then people will embrace you. They will listen to you. To care for one another is human nature, to understand is compassion, and most importantly, to help is to be a leader. And with that, I will leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nikhil. I make videos like this all the time. If you enjoyed what you watched, let me know down below with maybe a like or a comment or a subscription to the channel. Consider following me on Twitter and Instagram where I am also very active, or go check out my personal website where you can fill out a form to schedule a video chat with me, peruse my storefront, or read some of the essays that I often write. As always, thank you again, but most importantly, I will see you guys in the next one.